Hello everyone, so now I'm going to tell you the story of how a yellow pea bone turned into a black one. I'm going to show you it later. Uh, and actually it's also the story of the secret of the pea bone. Um, I got a, a yellow pea bone, as you know, and it, uh, I found out that, that it got a leak in the waterfall. So uh, today I went back to Phil Park where I bought it. And um, they found another yellow pea bone in their stock for me. And we tested it and uh, it had the same problem. So then we tried a red one and a black one and they both didn't. So, conclusion, don't buy a yellow pea bone. So, thank you Phil Parker. And I'm going to try the black one. I'm curious whether it will also sound better than the yellow one. Now, my plan was to go to the Hare Krishna temple today, but uh, I found out that it was very far from where I live. And I um, had to go with public transport and after that, a uh, 45 minutes walk or a very expensive cab. And I know myself, when it's 45 minutes walking, I will take one and a half hour because I got to get lost. And I don't have that much time today. So I'm just going to see a bit of uh, the center of London again and say goodbye. So I just had an English breakfast as lunch and now I ended up in a little sweet, uh, sweet shop. It's all kinds of British sweets, uh, really too much to uh, try. And uh, I'll not film uh, the lady behind the cashier because, because she don't, don't want to. But it's a really nice shop and I hope she can recommend me something. And I will ask her in a minute and then I'll let you know. I just come out of the shop and the lady recommended me these sweets. Uh, they're hard sweets with apple and pear flavor and some with rhubarber and uh, custard. So I'm really curious, I'm gonna try them and I'll let you know whether they're good. By the way, the place where I had lunch was also very good. So I put the link to the restaurant down below. Hi, I'm home again and I just uh, had some meal. And now I'm going to eat a little brownie. I bought it over here at Hotel Chocolat. It's, um, it sounds French, but it is a British uh, chocolatier. Um, and I'm really curious how it will taste. I also got some for uh, the security guy, Andrew. He's a really nice guy from Nigeria. And uh, we just said goodbye. Tomorrow I will leave around 9. Uh, my flight is uh, at 1 and I'm back in Holland at 3. Uh, so actually it takes more time to go to Heathrow than it takes to go, from, to, uh, to go from Heathrow to Rotterdam. So I'm going to enjoy my brownie. I wish you a nice evening and uh, see you soon. Oh, and uh, I've also got another video for you, a little commercial. Uh, if you like the commercial that I showed you, I think two days ago, you might also like this one. So enjoy. <laughs> The English believe it's a slur on your host's food if you don't clear your plate. Whereas the Chinese feel you're questioning their generosity if you do. At HSBC, we never underestimate the importance of local knowledge. Which is why we have local banks staffed by local people in over 80 countries across the globe. HSBC, the world's local bank.